Hello, I'm Phoenix City Councilwoman Kate Gallego. This is On The Go. We are in District 8's Warehouse District at The Deuce, and we are welcoming ESPN during the National Championship weekend for college football. I'm here with coordinating producer Witt from ESPN, who is going to tell us a little bit about bringing ESPN to Arizona. Welcome to Phoenix. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Um, this is actually our second year in a row in Phoenix. We were here last year for the Super Bowl, and it's always one of our favorite places to come to. Um, it's a great environment. The fans here in particular are fantastic. We had people lining up at 1 a.m. this morning to come watch the shows, so the support and the excitement uh, in this city is just is unmatched. Wonderful. So we're doing well as at hosting major sporting events. Excellent, excellent. In particular, in particular this area with the, at the Deuce in the Warehouse District has been such a pleasant surprise for us. We came here months ago and, and looked all around the city. So many great places to choose from, but the uniqueness of this space, this building, the Deuce in particular, is something that we haven't seen in other cities that we visited, have visited so far. So it's been, uh, it's been great. Fabulous. Well, we're glad you've seen the magic of our warehouse district. We love it, and we think it's perfect for groups that need a lot of flexibility. We have big spaces. You can do a lot of different things. You have two shows right now at the Deuce. Can you tell us about that? Correct. So we have Mike and Mike in First Take. Uh, Mike and Mike is a four-hour show that started at 4 a.m. this morning. First Take starts at 8 a.m., so 8 to 10. And yeah, to speak about the space here, the flexibility of this space has been amazing. It's rare where you can fit two shows in the same venue, but we were able to do it here and it's been fantastic. The feedback we're getting from Bristol has been you know, wonderful. Everything looks great. Um, it's been very flexible in a sense and you know, we can't ask for anything more. Wonderful. Did you get a chance also to go into our downtown and see some of the Fan Central and the campus? Yes, yeah, so we, we got in here on Friday and we've been around setting up for a couple days, but our hotel is right in downtown next to the Fan Fest. And the Fan Fest, I mean, the excitement around there is, was fantastic. I know we're far away from the stadium, but you would think that the game was being played on Saturday and Sunday with all the fans, all the energy, just the, the sight and the event going on there. It was uh, very, very neat. Wonderful. Well, we are so glad to welcome ESPN to the city of Phoenix, and we hope you'll be back for future sporting events. Hope so, too. Thanks for having us. Wonderful. Anything else you want to add? Nope. Just bring more sporting events here for the future, and we're coming. Excellent. You heard it here first. I'm Kate Gallego, and next up, we'll have another interview with one of ESPN's great talents. I'm Kate Gallego here with Mike and Mike, who are visiting us during college playoff weekend. Welcome to Phoenix. Well, it's our pleasure to be yes, here. Yes, it it's is. It's always a delight to be here for big sporting events. I'm the guest. He's the resident. You're, you're talking basically to the governor of Arizona. Yeah, right? I, I, I worked here and lived here in the mid-90s, and I already have a place here. When I'm done at ESPN or wherever they're done with me, I'm back here living. So this is home for me. And as I've said many times, it can't come soon enough. Yeah. So it could very well be right after the show tomorrow. <laughs> Well, we certainly hope not, although we'd be glad to have you back, Governor. What do you think of the changes in downtown while you've been gone? Yeah, it's fantastic from, I mean, again, I was here so many years ago to now. I mean, it's so active downtown. That, that's the beauty of it. And you see, and, and it's a place that's become now synonymous with holding big events. When you think of big events, you think of the New Orleans of the world, you know, with San Diego holding or, or someplace in California uh, holding big events. Uh, Phoenix is now becoming one of those destinations for big events, whatever the sport is, because they have great facilities to host. Wonderful. We've been trying to invest, put in a bigger convention center facilities, hotel, light rail, and it does seem to be paying off. As far as I'm concerned, there's really only one reason why this is a fabulous place, and that is because of the golf. I judge my Super Bowl and championship game destinations by the caliber of golf opportunity, and this is off the charts. I've played <laughs> wonderful golf in this town, and I look forward to doing it continuously. This guy, as long as I have to play with Golik, Golik is the kind of golfer who you'll be standing over a putt, and he'll yell as you're about to hit it, 50 bucks, you miss it. So he's the worst kind of guy to play with. But the golf here, all kidding aside, desert golf is fantastic. Is. And to me, that's my single favorite, all kidding aside, my single favorite part about coming here. Excellent. We do take great pride in our golf courses. Sorry about the fans, you know. We are known to have the lo loudest golf yes, tournament. Yes, that's exactly and... right. Oh, but I love it. As yeah. a spectator, I absolutely uh, love it. I, the waste management, uh, yeah. uh, to me, is as much fun watching that hole where all the fans You couldn't are handle it, though. You were golfing, you couldn't handle that hole. I couldn't handle anything. But, uh, I mean, I, I think... 
you know, the truth is that that's one of the things I think golf is missing, you know, as, as a spectator. Look, I love it, and I'll be with it forever, but as far as um, the image of golf is an elitist sport right. and all the rest of that, how about a bunch of guys out there cheering and yelling like it's a football game, you know, so mix with in signs. A little, you mix in a little happy Gilmore. I think it has a wonderful place mm -hmm. in the sport. I really do. Excellent. Well, maybe it'll spread from Arizona. So you are now in Phoenix's warehouse district, just south of our downtown. These used to be agricultural warehouses on the railroad tracks, and they're being remade. What do you think of the Deuce, where we are today? Oh, fabulous. What a great facility. I was just talking to the owner for a little while. I love the boxing ring, which is sort of a fun um, little feature. The food is terrific, but mostly the, the energy of the crowd is terrific this morning. I mean, we walk in the door of this place at 3.30 in the morning, and it is packed, and it is loud, and you can feel the vibe and the energy from the crowd in the room, and that's really what makes it. I, I think the beauty of, of a warehouse district turning into different types of clubs or restaurants is just the fact that the size of them, the different things you can do within the space itself. Like you said, we got a boxing ring here, a great outdoor place on another side of it. There's so many different sections that you can make out of, out of a warehouse into, into a beautiful restaurant, or I can go over to the boxing ring and knock the heck out of Grainy. We're looking forward to that. We'll be filming live. We heard you might also be boxing with the Phoenix Suns gorilla who just made an appearance. It's yeah. gonna be quite the day. Mm -hmm. We are also very proud of our art scene in the city of Phoenix. So this is uh, from the Dia de los Muertos, a bobblehead, and we heard you did not yet have one in your very impressive No, collection. that's like some of the bobbleheads we have are ridiculous. That's actually a really cool bobblehead. This will scare all of our other bobbleheads. What was the first word de los muertos? Dia de los muertos? Dia, so the day of the dead. So around Halloween, that's okay, the day well, to... if you look at it, I guess I can see that. Yeah. That's, that's incredible. That's sort very of an cool. eerie, yeah, it is. sort of an eerie little look there. You're scared there. right now, aren't you? Yeah, it's a bad, you hold that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's got to be better if you hold that. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, we it's a little taste of our art scene here, so Thanks. we hope it Appreciate makes the collection. We hear you're getting a new studio that won't be quite as good as the Deuce, but will be pretty phenomenal. Thanks. So. We, will, we will add this to it. Dia de los Muertos. Look at that. He could be a native. Maybe he'll be visiting you often. No, he won't. Oh, not si me. Quieres, podemos hablar español todo el conversación. Y este aquí, el gordo, nada, ninguna palabra. Did he call me fat? He always he calls did. me fat. Yeah. It's the only thing I know is El Gordo. It's the only thing he really needs to know. There we go. He's lucky. You're lucky to have him yeah, with your right. New Year's resolution, holding him accountable. <laughs> Excellent. Any last uh, word for the Phoenix viewers? Uh, no, just in, in, enjoy. Listen, enjoy, especially you know the games and all the all the, the big events that come here to Phoenix. It's a it's a not only a great destination spot, it's a great place to come live for good, not just to come visit. But as I, I, I can attest with with me, come live here. It's a fantastic place. And my advice to anyone who might encounter Mr. Golick in Phoenix when he lives here, if you get anywhere near him during an all-you-can-eat buffet, stand back. You're in trouble. Do not get between Mr. Golick and the food. That is a dangerous place Say to be. Say hello from a distance. Yeah, it was warmer when I left yesterday than it was when I got here. All right, we're ready. But it's a dry cold. <laughs>
We also do boxing lessons. We have a retail store. So it's really just like a gigantic community center. It's what, one of the wonderful things about the warehouse district. You have a lot of things going on, and you can be flexible. If Mike and Mike's set needs to move in, they can share space with the boxing ring. Absolutely. I saw you on the front page of the business section in the Arizona Republic as well, so finally getting well-deserved attention. Appreciate it. Um, so tell us a little bit about what ESPN's been doing. You're serving food. They have... They are really... Uh, um, they're great. I mean, they're really taking taking an advantage of the whole place. Um, so they're eating, they're drinking. They've got a lot of their celebrities doing spots in the ring. I'm about to get in there with some professional football player and let them throw some punches at me. So they're really just uh, they're having a great time here, and that's really what this place is all about. It's just fun. Excellent. Well, thank you. Uh, we're going to look forward to seeing you with the, in the rink as well. Thank you, and thank you for all you do down here. It's really amazing. It's made it just a huge difference. You've given us all a lot of TLC and a, a, just a ton of attention, and we love you for it. Excellent. Well, we've been proud to help with little issues like blood control in streets, but you guys are the ones making the magic awesome. happen. And Thanks. Thanks. Two-way street. Thanks, We're putting Kate. Phoenix in a good spotlight. This is Kate Gallego on the go.